Hi guys, I'm going to read a story this week. It's called Froggy Sleepover by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remkowitz. Probably said that wrong. <laughs> it was Friday and school was out. Froggy flopped home from the school bus, flap, 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 singing, Hooray, hooray, it's Friday, Friday. I'm going to Max's for a sleepover. We all know a Max, don't we? That's great, said Froggy's mother, and she gave him a plate of chocolate fly cookies. This is your first sleepover. Are you nervous? Who, me? Of course not, said Froggy. And he hopped up and flopped to his room. Flop, flop, flop. He pulled a big sack from his closet. Slam! Stuffed in his sleeping bag. Sloof! Squeezed in his pillow. Poof! Slapped in his pajamas. Puff! Shoved in a pair of underwear. Pum! There, he said, and flopped outside, dragging his sack behind him. Sloop! Froggy, called his mother. What? Did you forget your huggy? Oops, said Froggy and flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. I found it, he yelled. It was in the cookie jar. Slam. Then out the door he went, dragging his sack behind him. Shloop. Froggy, called his mother. What? Did you forget your toothbrush? Oops, said Froggy and flopped back inside. Flop, flop, flop. I found it, yelled Froggy. It was in my toy chest. Bang. Don't forget to brush, said his mother. I know, said Froggy. Then off he went to Max's, dragging his sack behind him. Shloop. At Max's, he dumped everything out on the floor. Schlump, rolled out his sleeping bag. Schloof, and fluffed out his pillow. Floof, okay, said Froggy, I'm ready for bed. But Froggy, said Max, it's only four o'clock. So they waited till after dinner, then they crawled into their sleeping bags. Wait, said Froggy, jumping up, I forgot to brush my teeth. Don't be a baby, said Max. This is a sleepover. You don't have to brush. Froggy crawled back into his bag. Wait, he said, jumping back up. I need my huggy to go to sleep. Sleep, said Max. Who's going to sleep? We can tell scary stories and have pillow fights all night long. Froggy slipped back into his bag and Max told a story that made Froggy's skin crawl. Now it's your turn, said Max, but there were weird screeching sounds and scary shapes hung in the shadows like ghosts. I have a better idea, said Froggy. What, said Max, let's go to my house for a sleepover. When they got back to Froggy's, they tiptoed inside in the dark. Quiet, quiet. Crash! Froggy bumped into a lamp and knocked over the goldfish bowl. Splash! Froggy! yelled his mother. What's all the ruckus? She flicked on the light. Oops! cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. We decided to sleep here instead. Oh, Froggy, said his mother. I thought you wanted to sleep at Max's. I did, cried Froggy, but, um... I was hungry, and you make the best popcorn. Can you make us some, please? Okay, you little munchkin, said his mom. Pop, pop, pop. She made them some buttery popcorn, then went back to bed. Plump, plump, plump. Froggy and Max were having a wild pillow fight. Good night, pudding heads, called Froggy's mother. I hope they go to sleep soon, groaned Froggy's dad. Me too, moaned Froggy's mom. Froggy's parents were snoring like horses when Froggy's mom heard a sound. Her eyes popped open and she flicked on the light. Max was standing by the bed. 
I have a tummy ache, he said. I want to go home. So back they went to Max's, dragging their sacks behind them. Shloop. But there were still weird sounds and scary shadows there, so they went back to Froggy's. But Max wanted his own pillow, so they went back to Max's. But Froggy wanted pink lemonade, so they went back and forth. Shloop, shloop, shloop. Till at last they fell asleep at Max's house at nine o'clock in the morning. Oh boy. Hope you guys enjoyed the story. Bye.